I know some of you sleep with someone or have slept with someone who snores. I don't know about you, but this is the closest time I come to wanting to smother my husband. Can you relate? Or is it just me? Fellow Toastmasters and sleepless guests, I have searched high and low trying to find the answer to my husband's snoring. I read this magazine. It said if he would put this t-shirt on, it would keep him from rolling over on his back and he'd stop snoring. What the article didn't tell me was how to get him to put it on. He won't do it. I tell you, the first thing I try to do with this technique is when my husband starts snoring, I will reach over and give him a little tap, tap, tap right here on the forehead. He'll roll over and I can get back to sleep. Why do I feel this way? Instincts. Our prehistoric DNA says that when we feel scared or threatened, our instinct is to fight. Just think about it. You're back in prehistoric times. You and the family are in the cave, just kicking back, just chilling. When all of a sudden in the dead of night, <coughs> you jump into action. You run over to the cave wall, you grab the spear, and you get ready to fight. After all, you have to protect yourself and your family from being eaten alive. But what do you do if you have to share a room with a friend or family member? You can't s swat them. My husband was asleep, and I reverted back to my instincts. He startled me awake, and I swung my hand over and <laughs> swatted him instead of tapping him on the forehead. Oops. Don't hit me. I tapped you and stopped snoring. He's lucky I didn't get the spear. I went on a day trip with my cousin Claudia. We have so much in common. The thing is, is when our instincts kick in and we were with someone that we're traveling with, we can't swat them. I'd love to do that. So Claudia and I had a wonderful day of discovery. We're kicking back in the bed, sipping wine like two sisters laughing and talking till we fell asleep. In the dead of night, my eyes popped open. I was startled. The noise was so loud, I didn't know what was happening. Finally, I realized, Claudia, I had to nudge her, couldn't swat her. Claudia, you're snoring. She rolled over and I finally fell asleep again. <laughs> this went on and on all night long until the wee hours. I was on the verge of hysteria. I stumbled out of bed. I was looking for something, anything. No, not a spear. Something to sleep on. I had to flee. After all, our instincts say, when we feel threatened or scared, we either fight or we flee. Fight or flight. I took cushions off the bed. I took blankets out of the closet. So I had to find some place to sleep. I had to get out of there. I finally found my place to sleep in this ginormous bathtub. The bathroom was huge, tile floors, tile walls. It looked like a cavernous cave. I went over and I shut the huge wooden door. My instinct said, lock the door. I locked it. She'd have to use the bathroom outside. Finally, I climbed into the 
bathtub bed. And I wrapped the blankets around my head, and I fell into a deep, deep, peaceful sleep. Oh.